You're watching Dixieland Bow Hunter. Well, a lot of y'all been asking about when I'm gonna do my first saddle hunt. I'm in it right now. It's not the ideal weather. I'm gonna protect my cameras. I got the tree umbrella up. I ran off a little buck and three does getting to this spot. First sit in the saddle, we'll see how it turns out. I still ain't figured out how to do this tree arm to get good footage all the way around. So uh, I have trouble clearing the tree arm with my bridge. I probably need to lower it down, but I'm already hiring into this setup trying to get everything up in this tree and get it set. I'm not about to lower half of it down to, to reset it, so. I'm in a tree, I'm in a good spot. It is November 23rd. If you remember, if you watched the last video on November 9th, I had a big buck chasing does come out in the corner while I'm sitting in that corner. That's one of those spots I always said. Uh, need a tree stand in it, but never did put one for whatever reason. So, thought this would be a good spot to try out the saddle. Maybe have some action today. Stick in there and we'll see what happens. Dink buck don't seem like he wants to come up here and play. Maybe there's a bigger deer in the area. Maybe there's a bigger one running around. That's why he don't want none of it over here. So that's the second little buck that's been in this spot. But unfortunately, they all seem to be going past my stand. It's over now. So hopefully one comes down this edge here in a little bit. Uh, my standards are way reduced. We're almost through all of gun season. We're in the last weekend of gun season. So. Uh, I know most of my shooters up here, at least three of them, are gone. That's probably about all I had on this farm, unless one surprises me. So We're going to stick in here, see how long we can sit in this thing. It's not the most comfortable, I will admit that. It, uh, I need a summer to play with this, to just tweak it, get used to it, setting it up. But uh, I heard from a lot of folks on Facebook want to know how it's going. It's definitely not as comfortable as a stand for me, but uh, I could use to probably shorten my bridge height a little bit. And some other things that would make this a lot easier. Uh, the main thing is figuring out all my setup for my camera stuff. I'm having a hard time. I can't film to the, my strong hand shooting very easily, so I've got to figure that out. But other than that, for 100 bucks and you want to do it, it's, I mean, it's worth to try. It adds another tool to the arsenal in these spots. It's got these little dinky trees. We'll see. Maybe I'll hammer one out of it. My opinion will change. <laughs> so we'll see.
make that a whooping. Every time I get set up over in this corner, the deer come out a different way, and they always get that wind of me. I just saw before those dogs come out. I shoot a buck back in behind the pond. I was in behind the other day. It's just 80 to 100 yards, and he's making a circle around. And he was bumping some doe. Uh, maybe he'll push a doe back in here behind me, and that won't get downwind of me. So I'm going to sit tight and see what happens. All right. Well, I don't know if I got that on footage, but I just missed a doe. It's gonna take some practice shooting out of one of these things. I shot low. She was kind of nervous. I was aiming low, but I don't know, she may have been further than I thought. <clears throat> Was that C?
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I do not know if I got any of that on camera. He's no giant. I passed way bigger this year. But it is gun season. And all my shooters are gone. And I don't like eating tag soup. First hunt from a saddle. And I think I just put him down. I don't know if I got the shot on camera. I hope I got it on my little camera. It was a point, he was, he was right here. I mean, he was at 20 yards when I heard the twig snap in the bean field. And I had to make a decision. So, I shot him. Nice little 100 inch eight point, I think. But, you know what? Who cares? You didn't buy my tags. I did, and I enjoyed that. That got my heart pumping. I'm gonna give him a few minutes, I'm gonna get down. Send my wife a text. Let her know I got one down, so. Like I said, first hunt in the saddle, in the rain. Underneath the most in aggravating thing I've ever tried to use this tree umbrella. <laughs> Just missed a doe. What a hunt. He ain't, like I said, he ain't the biggest thing running around out here. But I'm glad to get him. I'm gonna get off here and check the footage, see if I got any of it on camera. So we'll see. Well, just getting down out of the tree. We'll get we'll get this arrow on the We'll get this arrow that I missed a doe. First I get it out of the woods. Then we'll go take a look at this buck. Need some replacement broadhead blades. All right, right there is a little old tree I was in. The two that's there together. I went up there super high. You can tell the cover's all about 13, 14 feet up. I may have been, I may have been 15 max. But I just here with my stuff. And you got it all together. Now then let's take a look at this arrow. So I just run through that buck. That's what an arrow is supposed to look like. Absolutely covered in black. Thank you, Lord. What a wonderful opportunity to shoot one of your creatures. I hope this buck is dead. Put that with my stuff. There's no reason to blood trail this sucker. He went down on camera and he hadn't moved.
pretty nice, but set this camera down, we'll get a better look at him. Well guys, here's a little better look at him. First set in the saddle. As uncomfortable as it was, I got it done. Uh, a deer I might have passed earlier in the year, but all my shooters done been shot. So it's a nice representative deer of what Kentucky has to offer. And uh, I made a great shot on him. I missed the doe as you seen, but I 12 ring dissing. And I hope I got it all on footage here running out here and dying. He didn't go about 70 yards with no reason to track him. Uh, got good, nice, long main beams. Got some pretty nice tines on him. Nice, smooth, wore down antlers. He's been rubbing a lot, it looks like. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this hunt. And if you ain't already done your own saddle, maybe this will give you reason to try it yourself. It's not hard to do. I got $60 in it. And this is what I got out of it. So I appreciate you watching. And please hit the subscribe button. Thank you.